A direct object is a part of the sentence that is being acted on by the verb. It's a person or a thing that receives the action. Dorothy chased her dog. Who or what is she chasing? Her dog. Her dog is a direct object of the sentence. Not all sentences have direct objects. Dorothy walked. This sentence has only a subject and a verb, so no direct object there. But if we say Dorothy walked her dog, then we can ask who or what is affected by the verb walked. Dorothy walked whom? Dorothy walked what? Her dog. Did you hear that dreaded W word, whom? A lot of people are confused about this word and afraid of using it incorrectly. Ah, let's clear that up right now. Who is a subject, while whom is an object. We've talked before about pronouns. I, you, he, she, it, we, they, who. Those are all subject pronouns. You can use them instead of the original subject. Dorothy walked, who walked, she walked. But there's another set of pronouns that you can use instead of the direct object. We call these object pronouns. This list includes me, you, him, her, it, us, them, and whom. Dorothy walked her dog. Dorothy walked whom? She walked him. Mr. Bennett praised his daughter. He praised whom? He praised her. If you're replacing the subject, use one of the pronouns from the subject pronoun list. That includes who. If you're replacing the direct object, use one of the pronouns from the object pronoun list. That includes whom. So far, we've seen single words acting as direct objects. Sometimes you see whole phrases or clauses acting as direct objects. In the sentence, Bonnie loves riding horses. Bonnie is a subject. Loves is the verb. Bonnie loves what or whom? Riding horses. Riding horses is a phrase that is acting as a direct object. Since it answers a question, Bonnie loves what? A clause is going to be more complicated because it includes both a subject and a predicate. Bonnie loves when her horse jumps over fences. This clause, when her horse jumps over fences, almost looks like a sentence on its own, since it has both a subject, horse, and predicate, jumps over fences. But here, it's acting as a direct object since it's receiving the action. It answers the question, Bonnie loves what? When her horse jumps over fences. Let's make sure you really get who versus whom. Which of these is correct? Who is going to the party? Whom is going to the party? Who is going to the party? Who is a subject pronoun and who is a subject of the sentence? Here's the hint that might make it easier. Try putting in she or her. She is going to the party works because it's another subject pronoun. Her is going to the party Ugh, sounds all wrong because her is an object pronoun, just like whom. So you know you wouldn't use whom. Let's try another one. Which of these is correct? Who did Bill call? Whom did Bill call? It's the second one. Whom did Bill call? Surprise. Many people use the wrong word here. Let's check by answering the question with she or her. Bill called she sounds wrong. That's because she is a subject pronoun and so is who. Bill called her sounds right. Her is an object pronoun, like whom. If her is correct, then whom is correct. Do you have something to say to the world, but you don't quite know the right way to say it? English is a complex and powerful language. Socratica is here to help. Our grammar videos will give you the confidence to communicate your ideas effectively. Subscribe today and make the English language work for you.